Okay, fellas. Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Lauren. And I'm Jelona. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Today, we are here with Mr. Schnepp, our principal. So, where did you go to high school? I went to Manichog in Wilbraham. What sports did you play? I played football, basketball, and baseball. And uh, What positions? I played, uh, in football I played quarterback. In basketball I played point guard, and baseball I was third base. What jobs did you work at before being a principal? Uh, I was at a private school for 20 years. Uh, I was a special ed major in college and went to AIC in college, and so I started off in special ed. Spent seven years as an assistant principal at that school, and then the last six years as the principal of the K through 12. And then I spent three years at the middle school here in town, and then uh, before principal, I was here for 12 years as the assistant principal. Hmm. Uh, how does it feel to be the principal of Aguam? You know, it's been a it's been a great transition. It's been pretty smooth, probably smoother than I thought. <laughs> um, luckily, knowing the staff here and the students. I think I had an advantage, kind of knowing the school culture already, and uh, luckily the staff and school have uh, been pretty welcoming, so it's been good. Does the job get stressful? Uh, like I said, so far so good. Um, some days a little bit more stressful, but uh, it's been it's been a good start. Do you plan on uh, making any changes to the high school? Well, you know, I've talked to Sadie a little bit, uh, the president of the senior class, and, you know, we're looking at things of just having some more activities, a little bit more fun things to do. We talked about a laser tag uh, set up in the gym some night, maybe with a bounce house, I, you know, some <laughs> of these things we're just talking about. Talked a little bit about maybe a possibility of a uh, junior, senior, semi-formal in the gym, yeah, kind of break nice. up the winter a little bit. Uh, been talking to, to someone about possibly doing a, an after uh, prom party. So a lot of these things are just kind of just in the talking stages. I'm just trying to do more things with activities for kids, you know, trying to yeah. do some things for seniors. We had the senior kickoff, just right. kind of a good way to start off the year. You know, having the seniors have courtyard privileges at lunch, just trying to give them a little bit more freedom. Yeah. Um, why do we have parking stickers? Parking stickers help us to uh, just regulate how, who's parking in the parking lot um, and how many students. We have only a limited amount of parking spaces, and so if we open it up to everybody, um, it, it gets pretty chaotic out there. And so um, it helps us. It helps us with the number of cars parked out there, and then we use the the parking fees to help uh, make improvements out there. This year, we had 32 new cameras outside. Um, that we use the parking passes, parking fees to, to help with security, especially on the outside. Are there going to be any future changes to the building? Well, we have applied many times to the state for a new building, and um, as the state comes in and they walk through, uh, they say our building's in pretty good shape, and, and in reality it is, as old as it is, the maintenance department and DPW do a great job keeping the building up, and the kids treat it with respect, and so, they look at it as, you know, other schools are in worse shape, and so right now funding isn't, isn't possible. Um, luckily, we were able to add a top-notch athletic facility, you know, yeah. did some work in our restroom, did some work in the locker rooms, uh, team locker rooms, and as you know, outside is, is a great athletic facility, and so that was one way we could make an improvement, um, even though it's not directly to the school building. Um, why aren't the students allowed to have the Wi-Fi password? Well, we don't really see the need for it. It just uh, it, it uh, probably would give temptation to be uh, distracted and doing things and going places, checking Facebook and whatnot uh, yeah. during your school day. And so right now we don't really see the need. Why is there advisory? Well, a few years back we did a student survey. We do student surveys every year. And one of the questions was, do you feel connected uh, to an adult in the building? And 80% felt they did, but still 20% didn't. And so advisory was a way to kind of have small groups working with a teacher over, you know, the four-year time, um, just talking about school issues or whatever, and uh, giving students an opportunity to have at least one adult that they feel like they can go to and be connected with. And what do you like most about the students of AHS? They're great kids, and uh, like I said, you know, that kind of helped me uh, make a decision to, to become the principal, knowing the kind of quality kids we have, the pe people of character, you know, and so 
for the most part, they're, you know, they're well behaved, their the effort's great, and they're just, they're, they're fun to be with, and so uh, just enjoy it because they're quality people. Well, thank you for joining us on Coffee Talk. Well, thanks for having me. We'll see you next time.